Hey, comic book community, Long Box Love Affair here. I found free comics. I found a box and a half. So basically a long box and a short box worth of comic books for free. So how did I get these for free? No scam, no anything. It was a friend of mine who posted on Facebook that he had all these comic books and he was thinking about donating them someplace and he didn't know what to do with them. So I reached out to him and I said, hey, I'll, I'll take them. Overall, it took maybe about a month uh, between when he first posted to when he eventually said he was willing to pass these along. So he collects to read. Uh, so he's not really much of a collector at all. He, he, he gets sets together. He, he reads. He's a fan of the stories. Of course, so am I. But I'm also a collector. I'm also uh, speculating on some things. I, I keep a lot of things for my PC, and then I also flip comics. So uh, I have a box and a half of modern books independence he did a lot of in indie books but also a good amount of marvel and dc i'm going to flip through the boxes in a minute but i'm going to show you a couple of the ones that i pulled out so what i should also say is that i posted these on ebay so if you are interested in any of these uh, most of them are on ebay with auctions low starting bids i group things in sets so that uh, it would be more attractive to folks that might be looking to be completionist or to get full storylines so if you're interested, check out my eBay page. It is under username Longbox Love Affair, all one word. Uh, the link is in the description below. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up if you like what you see, and stick around for more content. So let's see what books I pulled. Again, this was a free comic book lot that I picked up. So uh, there were some great books. Some of these I pulled out mostly because of interest. Some of them are because of value. So Doctor Strange, number one, the Chris Bacalo very, uh, version uh, of Doctor Strange from several years ago. Uh, this first appearance of Zelma. Uh, I can't remember her last name, but she's the assistant. I'm a big fan of Bacalo's work picked up Thor number one in this lot. Uh, I was hoping for a full run of this because I've not read this storyline and I really would like to. So he may have more books eventually that he's willing to part with and that he's currently reading. Maybe the rest of this is in there. Exiles number one. Avengers 684, the first Immortal Hulk. Uh, you could say uh, first full Immortal Hulk cool Mark Brooks cover. Really nice. He had a full run of No Surrender. Is that what this is called? Yep. And I'm keeping those to read through in completion because I've only picked up a few of them, uh, including this one, which uh, he had in there, 682, the um, masked version of Hawkeye on the cover because there was a secret variant where I think his mask was off. And this is actually, this might be the secret variant. I can't remember. I'd have to look that up. But I'm going to read through these. So the ones I've just shown are ones that I'm keeping for now and uh, maybe eventually will sell. So onto ones that are, are, are being sold that I pulled out that I think are, are of interest. One Punch Man, the free comic book day variant. Um, not really a variant, but it's more of a version, I guess you could say. This one seems to be fetching a little bit of money in the back issue market. Star Wars is really big right now. The uh, Kenobi trailer just launched. So Star Wars High Republic Adventures, number one. I think I have this on eBay for cover price uh, with one bid so far. Darth Vader annual number two. Not some of the key Darth Vaders, which I was really hoping for. Thought this was fun. The Rise of Kylo Ren number one. The fourth print. Cool red cover. Had a, a, a partial run of Jedi Fallen Order Dark Temple number one. There's two copies of this one. Number two. And number four. This was interesting. There was a lot of free comic book day books in there because obviously he took advantage of that. Who doesn't? And so there was the Dark Horse Legends of Korra free comic book day. It is stamped on the bottom, which is unfortunate, but this one seems to have some, some legs. It is uh, Avatar Airbender uh, involved in there, and I think there's uh, some first appearances. Uh, there, there's some acclaim to that. Amazing Spider-Man number one, Ryan Otley. So this is the first print and the variant, which I think this is the second. Yeah, this is the second printing. Just some cool boom. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number one and two. Not sure what series this is. It looks like it just might be Power Rangers. And then a nice run of Demon Days. 
the Peach Momoko um, series, which I'm probably going to read, before, uh, but it is on the market. I've not invested in these when they came out, so I'm curious to see what all the rage is and why they keep on coming out with these Demon Day books. Let's go into the boxes. All right, we're digging into the first box, and things are sort of uh, in order, but sometimes front to back and back to front. So we got some Iron Fist in there. There's a run of Nick Fury. There's number one. Cool front covers. Uh, uh, I think the artwork inside is probably just as good. We have some Star Lord. We have the first appear, uh, uh, first issue, fourth print. Uh, this is, I think, the first appearance and cameo of Mephisto's son. And this is a continuance of that. We got some Batman, Batgirl, actually, Birds of Prey, a lot of rebirth stuff, which was fun. Um, yeah, we have number one right there. Pretty cool. Let's see what else. We got a one through five of the Finch Batman run for Gotham Girl. We got rebirth. Not on eBay is Avengers No Surrender. So. I have the full run, I, I believe, including the ones I just showed earlier. I'm looking forward to reading that in its entirety. I picked up is random issues here or there, and uh, now I have them all right here at my disposal. A nice uh, run of several series of Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy, this awesome Art Adams covers. I kind of want to reread all of these. I just don't have all the time in the world. But this is when they involved Kitty Pride and and went in, uh, into the you know atmosphere with all these different characters that aren't usually there, including Venom, which was Agent Venom, uh, grounded. One of my favorite covers in here. Well, that's a cool Angela cover. This one, I love this uh, Art Adams Thanos. Let's also have just the first issue of the Donny Cates run. Um, but then this awesome reintroduction of Adam Warlock and the Aaron Cooter run that they did. Let's see. Yeah, there's the issue one. Most of these are in really nice condition, very fine to near mint. That said, there are a few ones that are not perfect because they are not bagged. They are not boarded. Um, any that I sell will be bagged uh, and most likely boarded or at least most of them will be boarded, but um, it's just so time consuming when you're looking to um, do all of that with books that may or may not sell. It is easier to post on eBay. And we got some X-Men from the X-Men Disassembled run. Not my favorite, I have to say. Um, yeah, yeah, so let's see, what else do we got in here? So it's almost, I think, a full run of that, that storyline. Same thing with Jean Grey. Most of the Jean Grey uh, storyline from when she was a kid are in here. Trying to do this and not destroy the books. X-Men Blue, full run or near full run. There's some awesome covers in here. Art Adams again. Let's see, this was cool. I have this in the black and white, sort of a, I think it was a Mojoverse, yeah, Mojoverse run. Didn't want to forget this X-Men Blue 9, my favorite cover of the run, this homage to uh, the Jim Steranko Uncanny cover. What was that, issue 49 or 50? I think it was 50. So I did collect these and re read most of them, but then around this issue, I stopped. I just, first, I'm a big X-Men fan, but for some reason, it just disinterested me. It was not the best. We got the Nick Bradshaw cover. We got some X-Men Gold, the uh, recalled version, which, you know, it's unfortunate that artist was really good, but it was not the most um, appropriate with what he did there. So more X-Men. The Marriage, What Happened in the Marriage. That whole run is there. Got some Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is kind of fun hunting through this, this uh, short box. I got a long box coming up. I think a lot of these Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. books are here. So um, 
Anyone looking for them? They are here. I think that's the first cover appearance of the Howling Commandos. And we got ones that are inspired by the TV show. Cool covers right there. Oh, and Walter's come over to see what I'm doing. What's going on, Walter? Hey, are we looking at comics? Now into the long box. So Champions number one. That's a good one with all these new characters. What if X-Men number one? And then what if Magic? This was hot for a hot second, and I think it might still have some legs. People are interested in that. Uh, Marvel Point One. Uh, this is not one of the big Marvel Point Ones, unfortunately. I wish it was. Shuri. We got some Batgirl, um, the uh, DC Rebirth, One Shot, Supergirl, Superwoman. Got a, a run of Green Lantern Rebirth. Yep. There we go. We got a run of Green Arrow Rebirth. I always hated this cover for a number one pizza face guy. What the hell? Uh, we got Justice League in there. Not bad. A uh, bunch of indies I, I told you about. And then there's books based on TV shows, uh, video games, all of that. The Orville. Some Dungeons and Dragons going on here. Dragon Age, Assassin's Creed, American Gods. Got a couple issues of that. Riverdale. White Trees, which has some interesting things going on in that book. Forever War. I think that's before the actual bad Netflix movie. Lucifer. Nice run of uh, some Black Panther, Mar Captain Marvel, and Avengers movie tie-ins. Very nice condition on those. Civil War II. First appearance of Nadia Pym, the new Wasp. Marvel Comic Presents number one, the new team for Avengers. We got some first appearance of Valkyrie in War of the Realms. Uh, Valkyrie as Jane Foster, I should say. King Thor, America, number one. Good book to have these days. First appearance of this new team, which includes Miles Morales, Nova, and Miss Marvel. First appearance of Grail. So lots of first appearances, lots of great books in this free comic book lot. Got some Captain America, Philadelphia. This might have been used as a coffee table book because it does have a little bit of a stain, maybe coffee stain. Second print here, number one and two for King Conan. I wanted to always be into Conan, but I never quite made it happen. Some Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number one, Spectacular number 300, uh, amazing number one. Got some Robin War. Uh, most of the tie-ins here. Uh, I thought that'd be interesting to read. So people who are looking for a complete set. Bunch of Black Widow here. Cool covers on this Samney series. Uh, so that, that was pretty cool to find. Where's number one? There's number one right there. Amazing Fantasy 1 through 5, the Kara Andrews reboot. We got a nice lot of these Generations books. I think I just grouped these together on eBay. So uh, hopefully someone is interested in them as a set. Hawkeye, that's cool. Black Bolt 1 through 12. I know the first issue, these are Christian Ward covers. These are pretty cool. First issues here. There you go. Very nice condition. Some True Believers magic going on. Got a run of Trinity. Now these DC comics, I haven't... Um, had much interest in Titans Rebirth. I'm sure they're good, it's just not my uh, main jam. Some regular Titans Rebirth. Nice set of these. There's just so many here to possibly digest, right? Secret Empire number one, zero, and one through ten. Um, I never had these original covers. I had the Sorrentino covers, so that's interesting to see the original ones. Um, they're almost like double covers, all of them. Secret Empire Underground and United. Interesting Wakanda Forever books. I love this cover, this uh, Dotson cover. World of Wakanda. I've got a nice little grouping of these books. Black Panther. Again, these are all on the eBay page. Shameless self-promotion. 
awesome Rise of the Black Panther covers. I love these covers. I think this is um, Ryan Stelfreeze. Look at that. The crew. One of these is signed, actually, there. There we go. Not sure by who. I haven't examined the signature. Captain America. Nice run from the Secret Empire. This is pretty cool. Again, Art Adams. A lot of Art Adams. Nice Baron Zemo cover. Magic. Uh, the One of these variants. Got some Star Trek Next Generation here. There's a Picard. There's a variant in here somewhere. There we go. Bartel variant cover. Image Comics. Ones I never knew existed. Helm Grey Castle number one. This looks pretty cool. I feel like it's related to He Man because of Grey Castle. Grey Skull, I guess I'm thinking of. Uber Invasion number one. Got some Batman Hush stuff going on. Hush seems really hot right now. Hercules. A little bit of a run of Hercules books. Eternal Empire. Don't know about that, but that's the image. And we got some. Fastball Special Uncanny Avengers, which I read back in the day. Ryan Stegman, number one, and then Secret Wars, zero and one. So that's the haul, a box and a half, basically. One long box, one short box of comics. I didn't show you ones that I didn't post that were either damaged or I couldn't put a set together or it just wasn't worth posting. Um, like I said, very few of these I'm going to probably keep. Uh, most of these are on eBay. So uh, if you are interested, feel free to check it out. If not, I hope you just enjoyed the content, enjoyed sifting through this collection acquisition. And uh, looking forward to seeing you at my next video. Again, like, comment, subscribe as you see fit, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.